Now here's the big here's the big deal about growing seeds indoors. Light. You know, you, you put it on that windowsill and it gets plenty of light, right? It's not enough. It's it's really not enough. This is what happens to your seeds if they don't get enough light. They grow up really, really tall because they're trying to get that light and then they go and they fall over and they die. Um, and this will happen if you try to set it out on your windowsill. So this is why you need some sort of artificial light source. And this is the key to starting seeds indoors. This is a system I built. Um, you can make it smaller depending on how many packs you want, but my system, I can fit six of these in it. And what I'll do is I just put them right under there and you want to put this light one to two inches and as they grow you just keep tightening up the chain and move it up. And so this is $10 at Home Depot and this is about 15 bucks worth of PVC that I made. I ha if you so desire, I have the plans for it right here. But um, the benefits of this, the light is you can get 14 to 16 hours of light, which is what your plants need. And so think about uh, in February how much light we're going to have outside. It's not even 12 hours. Yeah, and so it's just not going to cut it. Not to mention you're going to have to keep moving your plants because that sun's moving like this and you're just not going to get the light. So this is the biggest key to starting seeds indoors is the light stand. One of the big um, benefits that I get out of starting seeds indoor is, like I said, I, not only do I get the varieties I want, but it's much cheaper. I can, for a pack of seeds for two bucks, I can do 200, <laughs> you know, broccoli or whatever. And um, whereas a transplant at the store is two or three dollars. And so I really save a lot of money doing this. It's a little bit of expense up front, you know, my 35, 40 bucks in the seed stand and some potting, you know, I got to buy the fertilizer, I got to buy this pack, which is $2, and these, which are $2, you know, there's some expense there, but it's an expense that you really only have to do once, and it, you really save a lot of money if you grow your own seeds. It's also fun, because you get to garden before the season's ready to garden. So how long do you leave the light on for 12 hours? I do about 14 to 16 hours. I, I, I have a timer in the plug, and so it goes from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Yeah, so that's 16 hours is what I do. And you don't want to leave it on all night because you can't over-program your plants uh, if you give them too much light. Special bulbs too. No, those are just regular 40-watt cool light. They, they'll sell you them. I mean, you can get the ones that got the different spectrum and whatever, but they grow just fine. 